Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As usually, I'm gonna show you the Forza Ton and also the cards that I'm taking for the championships and how to do the stuns. So let's have a look. At 50%, we're gonna get a new Jaguar I-Pace. It's a one gear electric car. We have the Toyota Supra and then we have the other cars that we'll get during the weeks. So let's have a look at the photo challenge. What do we need to do for the photo challenge? Well, basically, Get into the Forza Ton, get the car already, the Caterham, and then we make a picture, and that's basically here at the airstrip. Put your car here somewhere, take a picture, and you have the first one done. Then let's have a look at the Forza Ton shop. Here we have the nice McLaren 12C Coupe. That was actually a very good car, one of my favorites, but for some reason they did something about the handling and it's not so good anymore, but it's still a very good car. The Shelby Cobra was in Forza Horizon 3, a very good OP drift car. I have uh, I've gotten it in every top 10 in the drift zones in Forza Horizon 3, but it's not really a good car in this game. Then you got a blue top hat and an emote. So let's have a look at the Forza Ton. So we need to have the Caterham, the normal one, not the Forza Edition. We need to have five treating the uh, treating the needle skills. We need to have a total of nine stars on danger signs and then four road circuit events. So let's have a look. What do you need to do for this one? Basically, you need to drive between two traffic cars. So if you are lucky, you don't need to drive too long so basically go over the highway and if you have two cars next to each other just drive between them um, if you are luck Forza will give you cars if you don't have luck you need to do like three four times up and down as you can see this time I'm not really lucky I don't have to do it twice but you just need to go between two traffic cars and then you will get it then the next one that we need to do is the danger sign. So we just need a total of nine. Well, let's have a look at the danger signs we have here. Basically, all danger signs are dirt. So what are we going to take? We're going to take this one, the windmill. It's very easy. Just start from here with the car. And you should get at least two stars with it. Um, because it really doesn't matter. Um, it's a total, so you don't need to have a certain amount. I just did this five times, I think. That's it. That's basically it. Just do that till the Forza Ton pops up. Now, then what we need is we need to win four road events and that's basically the circuit. So I'll go to my circuit here and I'll show you the code. But that code has been like more than a year old, I think one year and a half. Um, it's basically the easiest way to get this. So we go to solo custom events and then here you see circuit race. I'll show you the code. That's the code, just fill it in, or if you follow me, you will find a blueprint, but that's the easiest and fastest way to do four races. Now, the race, what you need to do is, the race starts, all rabbit eyes go to the right, and you just need to go to the left. When you turn here, you can look back and you see what the rabbit eyes are doing, they're just driving into each other. Okay, so let's go to the next one, the trial. I'll go to the map, that's easier. I'll put everything off, there you go. So what do we need for the trial? We need an A800 Super Saloon. So let's have a look what we have. I'll go to the Super Saloons. There you go. So what do we have here? We have a lot of choices. Um, but there's one car I remembered that I'd used before and that was actually the Volvo, the V60 Polestar. That's actually a very good car on dirt. It's fast in acceleration, handling, it has everything. Uh, that's what I prefer. There, Of course, there are other cars that you can use. For example, the BMW M2. 
is my second choice. Um, I checked out some other cars, but I was not really a fan of it. So basically, the Volvo is my first choice, and then the BMW M2. What can we win from that? The BMW Z4 from 2019. Then you have the showcase. They just, just drive. Um, it's not hard to do. And then we go to the playgrounds. Now, what do we need for playgrounds? We need a Japanese car in C-Class. So let's filter that to... No, it's uh, this one to country and then we go to Japan so we have a bunch of cars that we can use but there's a lot of high classes now there's only one car that I always take um, also in races that is the where are you my little car I'll take the C class that will be easier there you go that's the mazda mx5 miata why that car has always been very fast also um i think i have the b class also for it that's basically a car that is always fast and and good in handling so i definitely gonna take that car now what can we win from that we win the honda nsxr of 2005 then the next gen championships i'm not gonna even pronounce that you see sport utility heroes a800 in street scene i'm not sure why we need to do street scene because mostly it's dirt um so this was a little bit of a hard race i think something is wrong also with the gravitas they made it a little bit harder this time so let's have a look sport utility cars there you go so these are all the cars that i have and that's a possible uh good cars now the thing is this is a new car you should actually use that car so you can win easily now the car that i prefer is actually this one yes it has dirt uh tires on it but for some reason it's always in street scene that the uh, driver tires are very fast now this is one of the fastest cars in a class um so i took that one and i must say i had to drive a little bit decent to actually win it so you really need to focus on the this championship um the maserati is also a good car and also the jaguar is also a good car and the us now the thing is i also tried another car and that was actually the volkswagen I'll show you this car. I swapped the engine. Without the engine, it's very grippy and all, but it's it is just the championship itself that is having a problem. Uh, basically, it's the Touareg R50. Um, I tune it with the stock engine. I also tune it with the uh, engine swap. Uh, of course, stock engine is way more grippy and all, but yeah, the problem is the driver tires have very fast acceleration. So I would stick to the Porsche Cayenne. Now what can we win from that? You saw the car already. That is the nice Jaguar I-Pace with one gear. But I'll show it after I explain the rest of the stuff. So let's have a look at the next one. An old hand. Now B700 Vintage Racer. Well, that's also also basically always the same cars. Uh, we will go to that. That should be here somewhere. There you go. You have the barn find. That's also a good car. But I always take the Bugatti because that car is always good. Now, the this one is actually the car that you can win. But it's also a good car to actually do the race. But... If you don't have the car yet and you're new, you can't use it. But the Bugatti is a very good car. That's always my first choice. And, well, you can have the barn find also. So, this is the car that you win from that. Then, the last championship. That is very funny. I'm not sure what the meaning is of this. So, we are in an extreme track toy in S2. As you can see, it's the circuit. It's that little annoying circuit. But you will also go 
to the festival playlist and the other circuits I uh, can't even remember anymore. Now, what car do you take for that? That's a very good question. Um, I'll first go to the cars. Uh, let's have a look. I think I already passed it. Yeah, there you go. So, what's the deal with this championship? You need an S2, but you don't need a uh, top speed. So you would say Apollo is a very good car, very grippy, very good in handling, so you can take that car, but you can't go above third gear. Um, this one is also a good car, this one is a good car, not, not. Um, even this is good. Of course, the Ferrari is an OP in uh, Online Adventure. Then you have Drift Cars, I wouldn't recommend that. Hoonigans also not. This one is a good car, so that's also one. Or you can use this one, also very good car, Sesto and Manto. So that's a little bit of a problem. What are you going to take for this? Well, basically, I took the Radical. It doesn't have a very high top speed, but definitely enough um, to do this. So this car you can also buy in the other show. Uh, there are cars that you can't buy in the other show. That's why I took the Radical. It's extremely fast in acceleration and it's very good in handling and in braking so i took that car you can also see on the numbers it's all 10 except speed but that's the car i took for that championship i tried different cars and i was yeah this one came out the best for me now what can we win from that we win the vulcan the amr this one now let's have a look at the stunts. The little annoying stun is back. This one, I'll do that at the last. So first, this one here, well, that's very easy. I'll just stick to my old motor. I've been using that car since the day it came out and I just keep using it because it's just a good car. So we just take the road version. We just need to watch out for the traffic. As you can see the car is, is already way too fast on that one. Then the next one is... What was here? Some above. There you go. Um, well, you can basically come from two sides. You can go from this side or from this side. I actually started uh, uh, here. There you go. You can go downhill or uphill. It basically doesn't really matter with the muzzler. At the roundabout, take the second exit. In 400 meters, you will arrive at And you just go full throttle here. And you have enough. You can also go in the other way, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, especially with the muzzler or the Ferrari 555. XXE. Now this corner is a little bit more tricky. You will hit this. So, well, I got a new PB, but it was not a clean one. Uh, you can go way faster. So basically, it doesn't really matter. Now, then we go to the annoying stunt. There you go. So, where do you need to start and what card do you need? Basically, you just teleport here, fast travel. And then I I have a video where I showed you how to do this, but this time I took my Hoonigan, the S2 version. Now as you can see, there is it, and we just drive up the mountain here. I'm probably gonna fail the first time, um, but also I have rain at the moment. I always said you need to go a little bit from the sides because you don't have to jump that slows you down or knocks you out. So just start here at the high tree that you need to go and then like this. You have arrived at your destination. 
I went a little bit to the right. Normally I should go straight. There you go. Um, but that's the way. That's the car I took and that's the way I did it. So that's everything. I'll show you the new car. So I'm curious about the tuning. I'm gonna quickly have a look. But this is the new car. Yep. I can't shift. Uh, I don't hear an engine. I can't shift back. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. It makes me confused. It's uh, pretty slow at uh, this rate. So let's have a look at the tuning. I'm just gonna try to get out of the tunnel. There you go. So let's... I normally don't do that on my videos, but I really am curious about this car now, quick. Upgrades and tuning. Custom upgrades. So, I guess... Oh, that's something new. We can have a race motor and battery parts in it. So, top speed 209 kilometers 209 kilometers so basically that doesn't really matter okay what else do we have the typical forza wings that's a subtile sub yeah no i'm not gonna use it yet we have all this interesting um, we have a race transmission. Uh, I'm not sure why you need a race transmission on a electric car. Since it has only one gear, what does it do? Well, and then we have all these things. And I guess you can have race rally. Yeah, so I'm not pretty sure what we're gonna do with this car since the top speed is like not really much and the car is pretty heavy. As you can see, it has a lot of uh, torque but I'm not really impressed about this car. So I guess we need to figure it out, test some stuff um, and see what we can actually do with the car. Yeah, I will have a look at the car and the tuning, but this is the new car of this week. So I hope everybody enjoyed the video and I'll be streaming tonight on Twitch at 9.30 CST. Everybody is welcome. I will be doing uh, the full festival playlist with the club members and the viewers to help them out. Um, I'm pretty sure people will have need help with uh, the S2 because it's a really annoying race and also this one uh, SUVs in a street race was not easy I can tell you that this one was pretty okay um, and then well then you have the trial and playgrounds uh, my club has very good drivers so we always win that so everybody is welcome okay I hope you enjoyed and hopefully see you tonight bye bye